Hey everyone, welcome to Tabletop Giant. We've got another product coming out this Friday. Uh, I saw a lot of stores got it early, but here we are. I got my coffee ready, and uh, we're going to have some coffee while we're filming, and just have a nice time. Let's chase some uh, Ravnica Remastered, see if we get any serialized here. I've seen uh, mostly negative uh, reviews for this product, but I think there's some nice reprints in here. We should be able to find some uh, some nice stuff. So I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Going into uh, the weekend, uh, I guess today's only Wednesday, so we've got a couple days before the weekend, of course. Um, lots of snow up here in the Great White North. Well, this is interesting. These packs seem extra long. You can curve them right over pretty heavy. I haven't seen that before, so let's see if they open nice, nice and easy. Uh, looking for the tab, so I think that only comes in the product print in Japan, so no tab on these guys. We'll see if that's a struggle as the video goes on. Got that funky uh, foiling. Uh... Okay, so we've got a sapperling insert. All these items are available on our website if you're interested in purchasing. Um, so we're opening for the store. Tabletopgiant.ca, www.tabletopgiant.ca. There's a Tajik. I'm not sure how many of those we'll see. We'll switch there. There's Oriella, Exemplar of Justice. That's our full art mythic. Pariah Shield. That's a good old school card. I used to play that. You don't see it getting played much, but uh, all damage dealt to you is dealt to equip creature instead. Blind Obedience. Artifacts and creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Well, that's going in my new uh, stacks deck, I think. I'll have to take that one. Shambling Shell, We're into the commons, uh, we've got the uh, old school border art here, alright so we're just going to hammer through the commons, I'm sure you've seen, we got into the uncommons here now, ooh experiment one in foil with the original art, it's nice, more commons, it's weird we've got a split between the commons and uncommons, okay so Aurella. Aurelia? There we go. I think we got it. Yeah, lots of snow out uh, today. So we've got a spirit worm token. I didn't look at the back of the last one. It's a Dom, uh, Domri <coughs> token. Mizzix Mastery is our old school foil there. A Spark Double. This is the new art for Spark Double. First time it's been reprinted, I believe. Um, great new art, uh, an undervalued card when it first came out. I remember uh, it used to rock these, uh, and now they've gone up. The fact that it ignores the legendary is a big part of it. So that's a very nice hit. We'll put that with our full arts over here. Uh, Niv Mizzet uh, in the old school border. Phytohydra. Skewer of the Cities. Golgari Thug. So I guess it does the old school borders. There's a nice signet. And then it moves into the regular stuff. And they're on our commons. Last Gasp Foil. Nice. So I guess I should keep the old school uh, borders together and the regular stuff together. That would make sense. So let's do that quickly. And we'll move forward. Thanks, guys. I hope uh, hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you get to play this, maybe a draft at your local LGS. So there's a bird token with an angel. A blood crypt. Very nice. Old school art for blood crypt. And a temple garden. Back to back. Okay, let's put these over here. And we'll put our full arts here. All right. Everyone can enjoy it. Oh, bottled cloister. Interesting. There's old Cranko, a nice foil Cranko. Very well. So uh, rares are rares. Ether eyes, kind of a a poor man's uh, cyclonic rift. Farseek, that's nice with the original art. Goblin electromancer, and then we're into our well, we got a calm in there, and then Golgari thug. Guild Mage, Devouring Light, and into our commons. It's 
So it looks like anything that was kind of reprinted from an old set it could be serialized. There's a zombie spirit token. We've got a void slime uh, old school. Tomic Distinguished Advocates. That looks like an anime art. Full art. Lands on the battlefield. Lands, cards, and graveyards. Can't be the target. Spells or builds your opponent's control. And they can't, opponents can't play lands from graveyards. That's pretty, pretty strong. Stitch in Time. Rare. Unbreakable Formation. Golgori Guild Mage. Mayhem Devil. That will be a little desirable. I know a lot of people run that. One of the more expensive uncommons. I think it was from War of the Spark. Guildgate. Nice. The Steam Vents. That was a good pack. Uncommons. And Commons. Ooh, a Persistent Practitioners. I think this got a, a retreatment in this set. There's a full art uh, of it, I believe. Perhaps not, since it's only Uncommon. But I think they're... Uh, they, I thought I saw it in the spoilers. A bird, rhino, and there's a nice oh, a double full art pack. We've got a full art breeding pool. We'll put that with our temple garden. And an arc light phoenix. And uh, he still see him play sometimes. I think that's his first time in full art presentation. Hellkite Tyrant. And that was uh, Azorus Renegade. You got a gutter snipe there. Creeping Chill. Solana Ledgewalker, got a Signet, Dart, to Arms, Demon Fire, and into our Commons, a Demolish there. Packaging is interesting, it almost uh, seems oversized. Elf Knight, with a Sphinx token, there's a Crypt Gas, very nice hit. Done in the original look, foiled, whew. That'll run in any black deck. Nice. Steam Vents. Alright, we got three of our dual lands. There's a Mind Leech Mass. Assemble the Legion. A Foil Old School Persistent Partitioners. Very nice looking. Um, and then you got uh, Molder Vine Cloak. And a Call of the Conclave. If you like Centaurs, there you go. And there's a Crackling Drake. God, those things saw a lot of play. Crackling Drakes and uh, what's his name? Pyramander. They got lots of play in it when that was stuff was in standard rotation. All right, there's the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the set. A goblin and an elf. There's the man on the box. So there's a Ral Zarek. Full art. I would guess anime art, but I, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, it's got a Japanese artist there. So anime art, that's a nice hit. Prime Speaker Zenga. Zengana. Nice. I think that's her first time in full art as well. we'll put Raul there. He's a good looking. Ooh, a bop. Boppity bop bop. He's going to go up there. Nice Birds of Paradise and foil. Mizzik's Mastery. Um, and Kranko's Command. Put these old schools together. There's another Partitioner. I wonder if uh, they're very easy to find this set. If they are, that's really going to hurt the value of them. Nice Farseek and Foil. Light up the stage. Goblin Electromancer. So this is box one. We're going to be opening some more. Watch for part two. We are hunting for the cereals, so let's hope we get one. There's a nice goblin token. The nose knows. There's another bloistered, sorry, bottled cloister. A hallowed fountain. Well, we're doing good in our full arts. A sacred foundry. There's a warrant and Warren. Uh, he's a rare. Skull crack. That's a good reprint. Is it Guild Mage? We've got another old school Rakdos Signet. Lots of Signets in this set. There's a good Condemn. Gather Courage. There's our Commons. Oh, we made a mistake. That guy goes there. We'll figure it out after. 
So anything you guys are looking for from the set, let me know in the comments. Well, we've got a nice full art coming up. There's an Angel Goblin. We've got Cinder Vines, very playable, rare. That's Philip. Philip, the Lost. Nice. First time seeing him in full art. At least he's referencing his map. Not sure it's going to help him or not, but... Uh, ooh, a Dark Confidant. Very nice hit. There's Mastery again. Faith's Fetters. Used to play that. Very nice. Uh, what do we got here? A Dark Blast. Old school treatment. Common. Got a couple uncommons. Night Vale Predator, Voyager Staff, Remand. And then our commons. Won't spend a lot of time on the commons. We'll uh, expect you've seen some openings on other channels. There's an Elf Knight on Wolfback. Another Dark Confidant. Was our last Dark Confidant in old school? It was. Now this one's old school foil. I love how they're true to the old foiling. Black and blue were my favorite. Uh, black has that kind of bubbling around the edges. Looks really cool. There's a nice card. Two of those. Karloff. <laughs> I saw that in the spoilers. Look at his face. Awesome artwork. So that looks like it's anime as well. Every gain life. Put two counters on him. Nice hit. This little blazing archon. Ghostway. I guess he goes in the rares regardless of his treatment. A frilled mystic. It's the famous lizard wizard. And cartel aristocrat. The fetters again. There's a common land. We've got etherplasm, wasteland viper, and a guild mage. And there's our commons. Okay, two packs left, guys. I'd say overall, pretty good hits. Elf Knight. There's another Prime Speaker and a Worm. It's a good looking worm. Prime Speaker. Ooh, there's a Chromatic Lantern. That would look fantastic in foil. But as it is, there's the. Uh, Prime Speaker, and a nice Chromatic Lantern. Chromatic. Gigantoplasm. Quasiduplicate. Azorus Guild Mage. Mage Rite Stone. Rakdos Guild Gate. We've got another Signet. Lots of nice Signets here. A lot of foil in them. Woebringer. Ilium Squirter. In foil. Compulsive research, very playable. Alright, last pack for this box, guys. Thanks for watching. We tried to keep you under 15 minutes. Hope you enjoyed. Give us a like, subscribe. We open all your favorite hobby boxes. There's a nice looking spirit and another goblin. Rest in peace. <clears throat> Exile Graves, recovery put into a graveyard, exile instead. Put that in the rares. There's Tesa. Nice. A lot of anime art in this set. Seal of the Guild Pact. Choose two colors. Each spell you cast of those colors is one colorless last. Nice. There's Lily. Look at her go. In foil. Dreadhorde General. Nice hit. Perilous Forays, got a good Condemn there again, uh, still in our old school, alright, Dreadmilkin, there's a Lightning Helix in Foil, playable card, Transmutation, Act of Treason and Face Fetters, that's a nice card for uh, always looking for stuff that really nerfs commanders, uh, it basically just loses abilities and turns into a 1-1. So it doesn't allow your opponent to put it in the command zone. So uh, anything that kind of transforms commanders is always great. So let's do a little review what we got here. And uh, enjoy that together. You got Tesa, Karloff, Philip, Raul, Prime Speaker, Arclight Phoenix, Oriella, Exemplar. There's that spark double again. That's great looking. Chromatic Lantern. 
Hoping for that in foil. That's a nice hit. There's the prime speaker again. We've got all our dualies. Atomic. There's a foil birds of paradise. Another dual land. Any other dual land? No. And then a foil crypt gas. Looks great. And you've got Mizzix Mastery and Niv Mizzix Reborn, a Mythic. Tajik. All right. There's some nice hits, gang. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, tabletopgiant.ca, we have free shipping if you spend more than 10 bucks on singles. And uh, watch out for our other channel. Uh, we're getting ready to, to launch soon. Uh, we play Commander on the Giants table. It's linked to our YouTube uh, channel for openings here. So there we are, a little over 15, guys. Enjoy the set, and we'll see you in a little bit for a uh, second box. Bye-bye.